good morning dear students so today in biology chapter we have to study about the animals forms and functions so we have learned in the previous chapter about the plant now we have to learn about the cell of the living organisms so our body is made up of cell so different many different cells forms our body so we have to see the two types of cell one is only a uh, unicellular and another is multicellular so first we have to know about what is the cell so the definition of cell is the smallest unit of the living organisms is called cell so our body is made by cell so some examples are there which is made of the cell some small species some take a species both are made of cell so first we have to see that what is unicellular organisms as you can see in the picture these are unicellular means they are made of one cell so definition of unicellular organism is the some living things are made of only one cell they are called unicellular organisms so some living things so many living things are there they are made of only one cell they are called unicellular organisms so you can see the example you can see the example here amoeba paramecium eglina these species are made of only one cell they have only cell they complete all their life in only one cell whatever respiratory system digestive system all they are completing in the only one cell but human beings are different from that unicellular so another thing we have to see the multicellular so you can see here the so many uh, cells are here this can be called that multicellular so the definition of multicellular we can say that most of living things are made of more than one cell there are called multicellular organism so many living or species are made of many cells suppose human beings any other animals you can say they are made of many cells so that they are called the multicellular organisms in multicellular organisms different life activities are carried out by different groups of cells for example we can say that the neuron help in carrying the signals so in previous class we have drawn the picture of uh, neuron so the neuron you can see in the screen the neuron help us in to send the signals and muscles muscle cell help in movement of the body so as we are running as we are working as anything we are doing so human beings they have a uh, many cells and the muscle cell help in to movement the body thus we can say that the work is divided in the in work is divided in the several cells so our work is done by that several cells suppose you want to learn then another cells will work if you want to write and if you want to do other works if the digest the food if our body wants to pump the blood then different uh, cells are working different organs are working in our body <clears throat> next we have to see that what things are called the tissues in our body there are so many tissues are there so we can say that the multicellular organism different life activities are carried out by different groups of cells a group of cells performing a particular function is called tissues so different kind of work is done by the different types of tissues that they are called the tissues for example muscles nervous blood bones different types of tissues found in the body so different kinds of body parts are in our body and they are form, uh, performing the different types of work now we have to see about the organ what things are called the organs that you have to see. so different types of tissues work together to perform a particular function and form an organ so digestive then uh, blood uh, pumping then respiratory system excretory system this many things are done by the organs so this collectively we can say that this is the organ system okay so first we'll see the digestive system whenever food we are eating then our stomach help us to digest the food what 
and uh, whenever we are eating it digests the food then we are getting the energy blood whatever we have to get after eating the food that we are getting by our stomach next we have to see that the heart heart is the pumping machine that pumps the blood in our body due to the pumping blood uh, our heart the blood goes to the all over the body then return to the blood then again it clarify uh, clear the blood then again it's pumped then it goes to the our whole part of the body so the heart always used to pump the blood in our whole body okay so you can see the picture of uh, heart in our body how it pumps in our heart, in our body next we have to see that the next organ is our kidney so kidney also help in the urinal system whenever we are drinking the water when some uh, extra water remain the dirty water remain that go out by the urinal systems and that work done by the kidney next we have to see the liver and liver is help in the respiratory system whenever we are breathing breathing out then the liver is helping us to clear the air and it help us to breath next we have to see that the another organs are there those who helps in our body to perform the several works so next we have to see the respiratory system first we'll see today that it respiratory system help us to take breath and take out the breath whenever we are breathing then the many types of uh, different kinds of air is going inside our body but our respiratory system clear that air and we only use the oxygen so like this we can understand the respiratory system is very good for us so today we will study this much we'll see the next things in the next video thank you